Welcome back, guys and gals. So today's episode is an exciting one. As you all know, we defeated the Wither in the last episode and we built this beacon right here. But today I'm starting it up here and it actually got me to thinking like, what can we build next? So there's a couple of uh, things I wanna build. Like over here on the tip, see that little uh, torch right there? It's like a little excuse for a lighthouse. But eventually I'm gonna build a lighthouse and probably build a port, maybe even put some ships in this bay area. And that's a future build for us. Over there is our gold farm, which is pretty cool. Um, and I might even eventually do a world tour. Maybe that's our next episode. But I wanted to just start here and let you guys know we have finally reached an important milestone. We are now officially at 100 subscribers. That is insane. And yes, I'm bowing to you guys. And I am so thankful that you guys are excited, just as me, to you know, watch these episodes with me, play along with me, watch along with me, uh, learn and just, you know, have fun building. And Chris is enjoying us too. So for today's episode is really just an appreciation episode for you guys, um, for all the support you've given me, Let's see if we can, all the support you guys have given me. And we're just going to take a little victory lap right now uh, to celebrate. And I also want to build... Oh, that's Chris. I also want to build, you know, like either a statue or a monument or something uh, to commemorate this episode. So what I have decided to do, and by the way, we have Haste 2 on, and guys, we are moving. Like, we are fast right now uh, because of the, uh, the beacon that's uh, incorporated. The beacon's actually incorporated into the water fountain, which kind of hides it and disguises the pyramid underneath. and just makes our world look nice and tidy. So I have waited to build some circle boxes because I wanted you guys to be here with me when I, you know, finally decided to make those circle boxes. So I'm, what I'm going to do, and we're going to need them too, because what we're going to build, uh, let's see. So let's go. It takes two circle shells for each circle box. So let's go with four. So we're going to need eight. Oh, one too many. There we go. And we're going to build some circle boxes. Because we're going to need this. Because what I'm thinking about doing, what we're going to do is to commemorate the 100 subscribers, we're going to build, I'm thinking, a pyramid out in the Bay Area. And I'll show you guys if I can find out where to get the shulker boxes. One second. Is, is it in chest? I bet it will be in chest. Yeah, so you need a chest. So if I'm going to build four, I need four chests. Okay, and then the two shulker cells. Got it. Luckily, I got enough wood for that. And I actually have one chest there, so that's awesome. So, Chris, how excited are you that we are up to 100 subscribers? Like, that's crazy, huh? I, I, I can't believe it. I'm just, like, when I, when I started to actually attempt to grow this channel, I never thought we would get to 100 subscribers this fast. So that's what the circle boxes look like and you have never seen them. So with the ender chest, you have to use silk touch. If you don't use silk touch, it will break it. And all the items are basically remain in, uh, in the ender chest. But with the shulker box, it's like a regular chest, but you, can, you can't place other shulker boxes in it, but you can place a shulker box in the ender chest. Anything you put in the circle box can be broken so you can use a regular uh, pickaxe and break the shulker box and all your items will still be in it when you place it back down. So that is pretty cool. So guys, what I'm going to do is find an area, uh, probably, that's where we're going to build the pyramid so we can always see it. It's going to be a shrine to our 100 subscribers. But I'm going to find an area that I can be, get a lot of sand because each uh we need four pieces of sand to build what's it called sandstone and we're going to need a lot of sandstone to build this pyramid i don't know how big i'm going to make it but i'm not probably gonna make it about a medium size i would say not too large because i don't want to take away from the this bay area over here but i definitely want us to be able to see it from my house as a little backdrop and who knows i might even put like a little fiery lava moat around it but let me go find a place where i can dig a lot of sand so we can start uh, building the pyramid so I'll be back in a moment. All right. 
right, y'all, and welcome back. We just went on a pretty good mining session, and we are back at home. Yeah, crash landing, crunch. <laughs> uh, back at home, we just grabbed, I don't even know how many uh, stacks of, of sand and sandstone to build this wonder. So, Chris, are you back yet? So let's put some of this stuff away that... Are you back? Let's put some of the stuff away that we don't need first. All right. And I am kind of nervous about how this is going to turn out because I don't know. But I figure what we can do is build the base first and you guys probably figured out what we're building uh, by now I'm sure uh, with all the sand and sandstone it's nothing you know too particular um, but it should be something that can stand out really cool and eventually what I would like to do is uh, add maybe like a little face or you know something that stands out all right Chris let's go ahead and go to sleep that way we can have a fresh start in the morning all right oh it's taking forever all right there we go so as you guys if you guys don't notice I actually put we're, we're running very fast now by the way because we um hooked up that beacon I'm pretty sure I told you about it but if you take a look it actually tells you what you have loaded now so the effect that is whether it be poison or anything like that but we have speed 2 going on right now alright Chris so let's head over to behind Marcus's house Whee! Whoa. <laughs> and Chris this is see right there see this is gonna be really cool I think this is a cool spot right here right here yep so Chris, head over here towards Marcus's house. Yeah. All right. And what I'm gonna do is, where is my house? My house is right there. So I kind of want. Let me just. All right, Chris, I'll be back. So straight, that's where I want it. So yeah, I did. So we can have cactus. So right there. So right on the left side of that is where I want the top. All right. So the center should be right between those trees. That's going to be great. Okay. We can do that. So the center should be right between those trees. All right. Let me get out of here. You okay? Yeah, hurt. Oh yeah, they do hurt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you probably wrecked it too. And do you have unbreaking on it? Oh, mm, uh, well, you're gonna have to add that. So, uh, this is gonna be nice. So, straight ahead here is where I want the center. So, the center of the structure is gonna be right here. This is the center. So, what I'm gonna do here is lay a base. So from here, oh man, okay, we have broken ground, so let's see, hmm, so if this is the center, so let's, let's go out by, let's go by 20 by 20, so that's the center. So it'd be 21 by 21. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's do 10 by 10. Uh, no, that's the center. So let's do it this way, Chris. So if that's the center, uh, come on this side right here with me. And you go, from the edge of this, go out 10. And I'm going to go out 9. 1, Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that should be 20 when you go out and then one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guys, I don't know if I should fast forward this part up. You know what? Well, I will do that. I will speed this up uh, until we get the uh, base uh, laid for you guys. I'll be right back. Now, now that's big. Now, originally we did about 20 by 20, but now that's a pyramid. We're going to do this. Now it's 26 by 26. Let me go ahead and take a... Ooh, look at those skeletons and things over there ready to go after us. So let me see if I can get some... Um, where is it? I thought it was a miscellaneous. This is miscellaneous, right? No, that's storage. Miscellaneous. Where's my miscellaneous box? There it is. All right, set that down. Whoa, I got a black and a gray. Huh. All right, so Chris, I'll be right back. I'm going to go see if what this kind of looks like from the sky and from the, our house. All right, I'll be right back. But I'm hitting everything. Wow. Yeah, that's starting to look like something. That is definitely starting to look like something. I can see you over there. It looks good. It looks good. It looks like it's going to be the, the right size where it doesn't, you know, dwarf everything around it. But it's definitely a big enough structure that we can see from the house. Huh. I can actually see it come above those trees. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a pretty good size actually. So let me get back in the air. Wow, it, it's getting it's kind of big from the sky though. Now I bet I can land on that. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. All right, Chris, we're gonna have to teach you how to uh, land too. So this thing is massive. So I don't know what we're gonna put in it, but it's good so so what we're gonna oh marcus got a freaking zombie at his house that zombie is like great target practice for us lick it look at that yep well, that worked all right so from here chris what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in one like actually do i want it to start there i think i do want it to start like that Huh. Chris, I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to start like that and then come up like that. You see what I'm talking about? Or if, or if I wanted to start... And so basically it's going to come like this. You see what I'm saying? The pyramid is going to start like this. So yep, cat side of bed, guys. That's what we're making to commemorate the 100 subscribers. So I, I think I wanted to start like that. But if I do it that way, I feel like, do we need, like, another outer row like that? Or, sh or is that just good the way it is? So, st yeah, step out here, Chris, and tell me which one you think you like better. You like it just to come right out of the water like that? Or does it need another outer row? I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't know. Huh. What do you think? So it's either like that or, cause I kind of feel like if it has another outer row, it kind of looks like it's unfinished. But if we do like this, yeah. we do that, then it doesn't look unfinished. It's coming straight out of the water. Yeah, you see what I mean? I think I'd like it better like that, right? Don't you? Yeah, and honestly, Chris, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I think I want to make it 30 by 30. Because this is 26 by 26. It's only 30 by 30 will only be two more. Yeah, let's do that. We'll be back, guys. I'm sorry about all the cuts in this, but I'm trying to make it as raw as possible. But at the same time, I want to make this structure as nice as possible. So we'll be back once this is 30 by 30. All right, guys. So I thought I'd bring you back in. So we got the uh, base floor in uh, right now. So we have the base floor in, guys. And uh, it's starting to come to shape. Uh, right now, Chris is putting on some more layers. And I just wanted you guys to see how we did it. So we just put one down. 
And then when I'm, when I'm starting the next row, I just wanted you guys to see what it's like. All you do is put a block there, one in, then break break that block. Be careful with sandstone because when you hit it too much, it will knock like all the blocks. Kind of like nether rack in the nether. So, yeah. So, Chris, I have some more sandstone in the chest over there. So, if you want to use it so you don't have to go back. So, right now, all we're going to do is go around and around and fill this in. But, guys, I'm telling you, this, this is like one of the most simple builds that we've done so far. But it is kind of relaxing and fun to, you know, do something like this. It was it's just like that as well. I was telling you, like, if you hit it too hard. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, this is a fun build. And look at this. Who doesn't like a pyramid? Everybody likes pyramids. They just look nice. It's one of those things I feel like in every uh, YouTuber's uh, walkthrough or let's play, whatever you want to call it, a <laughs> crunch, there's always a pyramid at some point in the series. And, you know, it's just like it's one of those good things. It's a milestone. And look at the inside of this. Like, this is definitely starting to take shape. I don't know what we're going to do completely with the inside, but I do know that eventually I want to move the nether portal that we use on top of the blacksmith and have this area be actually functional. So when we either go to the nether or something like that, we can come back here and actually use this structure that commemorates. So every time we reach a milestone, um, I definitely want to, you know, build another you know, there's some structures that I have planned to build, but I wasn't planning to build this structure. But every time we hit a milestone, I definitely want to build a structure. And I want to incorporate elements into, uh, that we use on a daily basis into that structure that we build for the milestone. So this is, again, for the 100 subscribers. And I thank you guys so much. I know I say thank you a lot, but I really, really appreciate you. Literally, <laughs> you guys know I could not do this without you. And I'm very grateful that you guys are, uh, you know, with me and Chris as we do this. So, Chris, it's getting kind of dark. So, uh, go ahead and get your torches out and kind of space them out and make it kind of look neat if you could. So I'm putting one in each of the corners and going about seven, eight blocks all the way around uh, on the outside, Chris. So definitely in the corners like this, Chris, and then skip a block like that. That's what I'm doing. So something like that. So try kind of make it uniform. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. Yeah. I put them in a corner and then I go 10 and put them, put them down again, Chris. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is the downside. Well, at least I got depth strider so I can move really fast. The downside about this is building it up one block is um, it. Oh, we need this. We definitely need to light this up. You have to swim all the way around unless you break into the opening which I am definitely not trying to break in so so Chris skip skip one each time like skip a skip a floor because you don't need them uh, that that far well that many I should say right there sorry if you guys heard that oh wow I'm popular today it always happens when I'm recording I'm, I'm sure you guys know by now usually it's Chris though but he's playing with me today so wow one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we don't want any mobbies to come over here and jack us up that would be no buenos no bueno. All right, so that's lit up. So, Chris, all we got to do is follow that t same torch pattern all the way up, and we should be good. But right now, this is pretty much lit up, so we're good on this. Only thing is, if the uh, mob starts to swim, then it kind of get us. So, guys, I was debating back and forth if I should cut this part out or not, but, you know, I think we'll put on a couple more floors, and then... We might cut it out, but just to show you a couple, you guys, 
how it's done a few more times. So put a block, crouch, block, 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 just like that. And then come around to the other side, crouch so you don't fall. And then you just carry this all the way around, trying not to fall as you go or misplacing blocks, what I'm sure I'm about to do, one of each. Yep, well, well I didn't fall, but I did misplace a block. And you just carry this all the way around. So, yeah, Chris and I are going to chit-chat for a little bit while we finish this up. And then I will bring you guys back because this is starting to, wow, this is really starting to take I am so excited about this. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about 100 subscribers. And uh, I love being able to build things. And, uh, yeah, if you guys, so I have a, a secret surprise for you guys too, especially those that have been with me since the beginning. Um... Uh, one more surprise inside of here. There's going to be a special dedication for each and every last one of you guys inside of this uh, pyramid. But I'll let you guys know that in a minute. So let me, Chris and I, continue to build this base structure. And we will bring you guys back in just a moment. And welcome back. And we've spent, I don't know, about three more hours working on this. I don't want to keep bringing you guys in and out, but I definitely wanted to say thank you so much again, once again, for the support. And I wanted to turn around. Chris is excited. I wanted to turn around and show you what we've been working on uh, for so long and to commemorate our 100th subscriber. There it is, guys. This is what we've been working on, and this is what we built. And I have to say, even though she came out just a slight bit derpy, <laughs> I love it. I think it's good. I mean, I am not what you consider an expert builder in Minecraft, but guys, I think this little lady is good. Now, I'm going to add some more details. I'm going to, you know, you know, add some gold and spruce her up a little bit. But I'd say for what we were able to do, I'd say she came out quite awesome so gold is going to go in in this little block right here and that is going to you know fill her up so you can fall on her nose right here and we like i said we incorporated the nether portal so as soon as you walk in you go right if you stand here you go into the nether or you can come right into here what i'm going to do is continue this down into the ground and yeah guys this is going to be awesome and i almost forgot yes the surprise i told you guys whoa chris where you going where you going uh, so we built when you come in you come down the stairs and down this way we built the wall of fame uh, so yes so as you can see this is really nice tile polished granite uh, we continue the theme with the sandstone and we have glowstone up above. So, like I said, guys, I wanted to end this episode with a big thank you to all of you. So by doing that, I have included two people, one chosen randomly, uh, one of the first comments on the series by S space capital S S. He was one of the first ones to comment on this series so I appreciate you and I appreciate all you guys' comments and the second person who made the wall of fame and please don't be mad at me if I butchered it I Exodus Panda for this comment and predicting the future keep going man you'll get to 100 subs and we got to 100 subs guys can you believe it I can't believe it. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. So thank you all so much. Chris, bow to our fans. Bow to our fans. Don't move. Walk. Bow. Hey, no, in all seriousness, guys, in all seriousness, I appreciate you guys so, so much. So, so much. Thank you so much. Our next milestone, I say let's get to 200. And I don't know. What will we be on next? I don't know. Stick around and see. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.